Hi everyone, my name is Mark. I'm the business website director at Healy Consultants in Singapore. I have with me on the video today, uh, Grace Odiambo. She's a senior client engagements manager based in our office in Johor Bahru in Malaysia. Good afternoon, Grace. Hi Mark, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. How about yourself? I'm good as well. Good. Grace, um, we're sitting here today to talk about Singapore. I think you recently completed a a company set up for a client. Will you tell us a little bit about it, please? Yeah, sure. So um, we engaged an Australia businessman and um, he has um, investments and assets in Australia and he was looking for a stable jurisdiction where he could set up an investment holding company. Um, He had two options at the time, one was Malta and one was Singapore. So what we did, we he wanted to know the pros and cons for both uh, jurisdictions. So what we did is he paid us a retainer fee and we provided him um, a comprehensive um, comparison table so that he can look at all the options and see where he can decide to set up his business. So then um, after a lot of deliberation and discussions with our accounting agents in Australia, he went with Singapore. So then we established an investment holding company in Singapore. Okay, and I'm assuming that's a fairly straightforward process as with any Singapore uh, Singapore incorporation, correct? Correct. Okay, very good. Um, I believe the, the client also requested us to open corporate bank accounts for him. Uh, will you just give us a very quick overview of uh, what we did there? Yeah, sure. So our client also asked us to assist him to open two bank accounts. And his main requirement was eventually he would like to transfer fiat currency because his main business will be trading in crypto. And he would like to transfer fiat currency back to Australia ultimately. Um, So he wanted to know um, whether these banks will offer him both SWIFT and SEPA uh, facilities for him to be able to transact and to send money back home and what would be the implications and Mm. all those requirements. So I had to again draft another comparison, another two comparison tables for him with different options, different banks. We contacted quite a number of banks. Uh, Most banks apparently do not offer SWIFT transactions to crypto-related entities. They consider this too high risk. So eventually we managed to get him two bank accounts as he required. One was in Europe, another one was in the Caribbean. Okay, very good. Um, Did the opening of the bank accounts pose any particular logistical challenges, Grace, Um, in terms of was the client required to travel or anything like that? No, um, for both banks, he was not required to travel. Uh, They did require um, certified notarized uh, company documents and due diligence documents. And they also requested extensive amount of um, information and documents from the client, including his um, current trading activity with all the exchanges that he's dealing with so that they can get an idea of what kind of trading he's doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. and they also wanted to know whether he has clients or he's just doing trading for himself. And he was able to convince the banks because he provided all the information that mm. that was requested. Okay, very good. And what sort of timeline are we talking about in terms of opening the accounts? The first bank account was quite fast. Um, I think within less than two months, we had already opened the first bank account. The second one was a challenge. Mm. I think it took almost four or five months to open the bank account, the second okay. one. Yeah. I see, I see. Very good, Grace. Um, was there anything else in the engagement that we should know about? Um, well, initially the client's request was to verify about his taxes. He was very concerned about his taxes because as we know, Australia residents, um, they do pay tax for all income, whether it's received in Australia or worldwide income. So he wanted to know the best way to manage his taxes. So that Mm. is why we had to set up um, a call initially with our tax experts in Australia to give him more advice. Um, And so we managed to alleviate any of his concerns, so to speak. Yeah. Okay, Grace. Well, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for your time. It's interesting always to speak with you and and hear about your engagement. So uh, we'll speak to you again very soon. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for taking your time to talk to me. No problem. Bye-bye.
Bye.